Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. How you guys doing? I am Gordon with This Is How I Did It, the YouTube channel, where we talk a lot about solar. Um, our We have some other stuff on our, on our channel too, but we lately been talking a lot about solar because we just put a hybrid solar system on our house. Um, we took a home equity loan, we refinanced our car with it, we put a new roof on the house, and we bought a hybrid solar system with a cost of about $23,000 for this system, and it's a big system. So in this video, <clears throat> we are going to talk about the benefits of a hybrid inverter. And what that means is you have on-grid inverters, which are um, net metering inverters that mean you are selling power back. Your solar panels are producing power. You're selling that power back to the commercial power company, whoever that might be, your town. Um, they're either giving you money for it or, or credits, usually credits, which means you produce energy in the summer when the sun's out, and in the winter, you use those credits up. So in the summer, you're pretty much getting power for free. And then into the winter, you're kind of easing your way and you run out of credits. And then you're paying back your full price at the, when there's, your credits run out. And they basically wipe your credits. Here in, in Northwest, PGE is who, who I have. You basically, they wipe your credits out every March. So every year, they wipe your credits out and give your credits to somebody that needs them to pay their, their power bill. Um, so that's net metering on grid. Off grid would be no commercial power whatsoever. Your house runs on whatever your solar panels will produce, and you more likely have a battery bank that's helping you run through the night and, you know, whatever. Okay, a hybrid system is basically the solar off-grid system, but the inverter plugs into commercial power to bring power out of your commercial power, out of that panel, and into the inverter to charge those batteries. So if your solar panels have snow on them, or they're just, it's raining here in the Northwest, it's raining, okay? So your solar panels aren't creating enough power to get you through the next, to the next day when the sun comes up. So those panels are lacking, right? We have 30 panels, 550 watts each. When the sun's out, they will create about 17,000 watts power, 16,5 roughly. Thou that's a lot of power, right? And it's an 18,000 watt inverter I have. Anyway, that inverter, if the batteries deplete, instead of me have to say, hey, I'll shut them off grid. I mean, sorry, <laughs> shoot them off grid. I'm off grid. I, I, my battery's dying. I go get a generator, plug in a generator to charge these batteries for four or five hours. A hybrid inverter will take power from your commercial power company, from your panel, your commercial panel, and pump it into that inverter, and then the inverter will bypass all that power right back into the batteries, DC, to charge those batteries while the house is still running on the batteries. So your sub-panel is still running off of your batteries, but that inverter is keeping those batteries charged and keeping them afloat. Now, it can work both ways, where it's getting solar panel power, and commercial power at the same time to charge those batteries. So anyway, let's get on with the video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe. We're actually also getting ready to build a water wheel um, that we're going to tie into our solar system, which might be pretty... <laughs> we're trying to build a system that actually works. Uh, there's a lot of water wheels out there that, okay, yeah, you're producing DC power, but... My, my water wheel is 350 feet from my house. That means if I put DC power on it way down at the creek, I've got to have some huge wire to get up to my house. So we're going to do a three-phase generator. It's a 12,000-watt three-phase generator on the water wheel. Anyway, there's videos on there that we're, we're just starting to build it. Um, so there's going to be videos on there on how, how we're doing that, and we're hoping that it is a viable alternative for our power because like I said we have a hot tub we have a well we have uh, everything everything's electric our water heater our range our wall cadet heaters only thing we don't have that's electric is we have a pellet stove in our living room other than that everything is electric so anyway on with it gentlemen thanks for watching here we go this is a hybrid inverter 
its purpose, the benefits of this thing is, over a regular inverter, is a hybrid inverter, the biggest benefit of this machine is it will take power out of your commercial panel and feed into it to charge these batteries if your solar panels up on the roof and your stuff can't keep up with what your house is using. So like in the wintertime here in the Northwest, we need help sometimes, you know, or anywhere, I guess. You know, if you've got a lot of snow, you, you go out, and if you're an off-grid system, you're, you know, you run your generator. Well, this is an automatic onboard charger in this inverter right here that will charge these batteries, the whole bank. So the way it works is you have 240 volts coming in. <clears throat> you have 110, 110 coming in from your commercial panel. <clears throat> Jeez, excuse me. And on that, you just have a ground that is hooked to a ground rod, and you're two hots. You do not bring a neutral into this, okay? This produces your neutral outgoing now, so you have your outgoings right here. So you have 110, 110, your neutral, and then this is a chassis ground, okay? These wires are going over here to my sub panel, which is feeding all of my solar. All These are all solar. Um, circuits here and including my hot tub uh on in wall cadet wall heaters um every outlet in my house every light in my house this bad boy is 18 kw 18,000 watts <clears throat> and normally runs about six <clears throat> percent once the hot tub starts running and the hot water heater and that kind of stuff of course it jumps up to maybe 40 percent but <clears throat> in case your solar panels do not power this battery bank and charge it, this will take over. <clears throat> Gee, excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. So this machine, uh, and I said take over, but it doesn't actually take over. It just kicks in and helps. So basically there's a dial on the bottom of this. This machine will go up to 100 amps output DC to charge these batteries, okay? But your solar panels, I mean, we have 30 solar panels, 550 watts, and if it's a nice, hot, sunny day, those 30 panels, which are broke up into four arrays, those panels will produce about 16,500 watts of power, which is a lot of AC, a lot of DC amperage, probably about three... 330 amps. I don't know. I haven't done the math for today. Anyway, when they're fully running and you pump all these. So basically you got your PV wires coming down from your solar panels. <clears throat> the negatives going in tight right into the charge controllers. The hot, the positives go down to the shutoff switches down there and they come into the, into the charge controllers. Then out of the charge controllers, you have your negatives for bus bar and your positive bus bar. And those are um, um, two aught wire, two aug wire. Sorry, two aug wire. These are two aught wire. Okay, so you come out of the bus bar <clears throat> into this 400 amp DC breaker and come down and charge these batteries. So <clears throat> if those are not producing enough power and these batteries get depleted, this inverter hybrid inverter will kick on the onboard charger and start charging these batteries now it doesn't take over because as you can see the way this is wired all these charge controllers are going straight to the batteries too so they will also charge the battery so once the sun comes up in the morning so let's from in my case my solar obviously doesn't run at night but my hot tub does and my water heater and all that stuff runs at night um, so it burns up some power and in the winter we have wall cadet heaters that run and other stuff So it burns up power. So in the morning These things might be depleted by four o'clock in the morning. So this thing could kick on and charge these batteries And keep the house afloat until the Sun comes up and the solar uh, Panels can help with the charging. Okay, and that's only if these get totally depleted um, to wherever the alarm is set for them 
So, we did a test when we first put this in. <clears throat> we had three panels up on the roof because we had a hardware issue with the mounting system up there. <clears throat> so, we ran the system off of commercial power and three solar panels, so 1,500 watts of solar panel. And basically, this thing ran every morning, charging, and it cost about nine eight to ten let's say eight to ten dollars a day via commercial power to charge these batteries and run the house now before we had this solar system you look at our commercial power bill and we were spending anywhere from twelve to sixteen dollars a day to run the house so right off the bat just doing that running off of these batteries and not just all commercial power we've cut our bill in half so Later on, of course, we got all the panels finally up and running. So we have 30 panels up there producing 16,000 watts, which charges these batteries. Great. Like right now, they're fully charged. Um, had everything running all day. So they're fully charged now. But come morning time, there'll probably be three three bars left on there. So probably about 30% or so, 25% in the morning. Sun comes up. That's great. These will kick in. The solar panels will start charging. And this one will never turn on. But if it's cloudy... And we're burning, you know, water heater starts running and everything else. This will kick on and charge these batteries. So we don't worry about our power usage because no matter what, we're doing way better than we were with just commercial power. Um, oh, and after that test with every, with the 30 panels up running and when this thing does run, it is now about $4 and 80 cents a day, um, with all 30 panels up and running on a cloudy day. So if it's cloudy and the solar panels aren't producing enough power and that inverter kicks in and starts charging these batteries, it's about four fifty, maybe five dollars a day. Okay. But one thing I've got to, I've also got to pay attention to is on my commercial power, in that panel, I left my oven on it, my um, clothes dryer, and my dishwasher on that panel. Um, so if the wife's doing a lot of baking. Or drying clothes, my bill will be a little bit higher those days. But for the most part, it's a great system. Actually, not for the most part, for every part. It's This is a great setup. I love it. Um, the benefits of a hybrid inverter are huge. If you're looking to get into this and you don't know which way to go, um, there's all kinds of videos on our channel. You're more than welcome to check them out. Um, tons of videos. On, on our system, putting it together and everything, and uh, and our and our battery array. Or <laughs> you might notice here we have some uh, look like bearings and other quite things and a big old shaft. That's because we're building a water wheel. Starting to build that right now. Um, so that, that's also on the uh, on the um, YouTube channel. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it so much. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button for more. Have a great evening. Goodbye.